First time that I'm riding with my Scorpion AT or EXO 960 modular helmet and I just put on a Cardo Edge um, Pack Talk. So trying both of these out for the first time. So far the helmet's uh, pretty quiet. It's got the uh, chin piece which could be a problem and then the back neck covering snugs up to the back of your neck so um, noise wise pretty dang good first thoughts on the helmet definitely a lot quieter than both of my old helmets one's a uh, modular and the other one's a MX style helmet that I usually wear with goggles both are definitely louder than this uh, the ear pads snug pretty close up to my ears. I don't have earplugs in. I wanted to ride it without earplugs. And um, it's, it's a nice fit. Now one thing I'll say about this helmet is I went by their size chart, Scorpion size and chart, and it recommended a 2XL. Well, I know I got a big ass head, and I tried various 2XLs, not the Scorpion model that I'm wearing, but other models uh, at the cycle shop and the two XLs were all extremely tight. So I was right on the edge of between the two and three. So I went with the three and uh, I'm glad that I went with the three. I think that the two would have been uncomfortably tight. Also, while I was up to riding speed, like 55 mile an hour, going slower now, but um, I didn't have the sail in effect with the visor. It is pretty stable. It is not making my head chatter around or anything. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. And most of my riding is small country back road like I'm on now or gravel road that I'm heading to in a few minutes. So, so far, I got to give it a thumbs up. Now, the one thing that sort of might concern me a little bit is it's definitely heavier than the other two helmets that I'm used to wearing. So it's probably going to take a little bit for my neck to get used to the extra weight. And not that the helmet is super heavy. I think it's about four and a half pounds. But by the time you throw the Cardo uh, system on and then I got the GoPro mount on the front with the camera, it definitely is going to add a little bit of weight that's going to take some getting used to. And what a beautiful day for riding. It's probably upper 50s, maybe 60 right now cool enough to wear a long sleeve t-shirt under my uh, underneath my jacket threw a pair of jeans on underneath my riding pants and a uh, little bit heavier gloves than I would normally ride but uh, so far man it's a beautiful day nice and cool nothing too hot Also, I scored huge this week. My cousin had stopped by, um, we got a place in our city that I guess buys pallets. Then they turn around and they take them to a store and they break the pallets open and they sell individual items and pretty much about anything you can imagine they have. Well, he had called me. I missed his phone call because they had two new Ankry Michelin Wild Adventure tires. And the Ankry is what I currently run on the back of uh, the KLR right now. And they had the brand new front one. He wasn't sure of my size, so he didn't buy the tires. So when I finally, uh, he, he texted me, and um, I saw the tires, and I'm like, oh man, are you still there? He's like, no, I'd already left. So I should have called the store and said, hey, hold them. I'm on my way. But it was in the middle of the work week uh, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to seem too eager. They may jack up the price. But they were only asking 65 for the front tire, Michelin Ankry, and 75 for the back tire. 
so I may or may not have broke a few speed limits uh, getting over to the store and when I got there they did still have them brand new tires no dis you know defects or anything on them and I went ahead and snatched them both up and when I went to the counter the lady behind the counter said all right it's 65 total and she'd only charged me for the one tire thinking they both came as a set well I was honest I was raised to be that way so I told her I said no I said that's just for the front tire the back one 75 so she thanked me for my honesty <clears throat> and I got both tires brand new Michelin anchors out the door for $139 for the front and rear so that's the score because the anchory that's on my rear right now I think I paid like 190 when I bought it so got a great deal and uh, left feeling good that I didn't take advantage of the lady because I'm a firm believer in uh, karma that'll come around and kick you in the ass and honestly the last thing you want on a motorcycle is uh, bad karma juju uh, when you're out riding so that was my best score of anything in quite a while. $139, tune the Michelin increase. And the funny thing about everything was, I wasn't going to go back with an Ankry on the rear. Currently, I'm running a Tusk Sport on the front, and I love it. The Ankry is a great tire. It hooks up into everything. I have no complaints, with the exception that it's wearing pretty quick. I think I've got just a tad over 2,000 miles on it. And the greater majority of those miles are dirt roads, you know, with small pavement in between. So I guess it's a soft compound. So between the weight of the KLR, my fat ass, and then gear, it's caused the tires to wear. So they're probably 50% uh, right now, maybe 45%. So before long, I was going to have to change it out. And I was going to go with the, uh, go with the uh, Dunlop 606 because everybody raves about it. But... For $75 for another couple thousand miles out of another Ankry, I, I just I couldn't beat it. So that one will go on way before the front tire because my Tusk D-Sport is wearing great. I mean, there's really no wear to it at all, and I'm happy with the way it performs. So I'll have the uh, Ankry front tire in reserve for whenever it comes time. Also, for the first time, I am riding with my homemade pannier racks, a quick release that I made, it's on a previous video. And my Tusk bags that I uh, bought and put on, the soft bags. The OEM ones, uh, one of them got destroyed and the other one was scratched up and I just had a hard time paying $700 for replacements for scratched pad, uh, bags or OEM bags I should say so I went ahead and uh, made my own quick release pannier plates ran me about a hundred bucks to do it it was a fun little project and I think I got the two bags they're 27 liter bags uh, I think I got them for $120 $125 something like that so about $225 between the bags and the quick release plates so not a bad deal first time out riding with them on okay first thoughts first on the helmet so far love it noise is uh, way down pretty quiet helmet like I said I'm not running with earplugs because I wanted to see how quiet it was um, no chatter in the sun visor up top as far as wind or anything not moving my head around so aerodynamically it's pretty good as far as the cardo working great i hit on the uh ride with gps app to um do the turn by turn can hear everything perfect i've already checked out the music you can hear everything the jbl speakers are awesome and uh, made a phone call talked to my cousin and was up to about 50 mile an hour and he was all I can hear is your voice he wasn't even hearing uh, any of the wind from the bike uh, I opened up the front face shield on the helmet 
at about the same speed and he goes I can hear the wind a little bit but not enough where it's distorting or anything so um, both systems um, I have to give it an A so far. I mean, I said I love the helmet, love the feel, and having a nice sound system and being able to answer phones and that kind of thing through uh, the Cardo is a nice setup as well. So, can't complain. I don't know why I keep calling these things Tusk bags or actually uh, Nelson Riggs bags. I shortened up the uh, straps because they are super long burn the ends on them but uh they look good and those are my home air, uh, homemade uh, pan air racks forgot to let to cut off a couple of uh, bolts i thought i had them all off to shorten them up but uh they ran good and like i said the racks didn't fall off so can't complain <laughs> 